What is going on everyone? It is Trentacles and welcome to episode 23 of my RuneScape progression series. There's a certain upgrade that I want to get that I think will help me considerably with money making and certain bosses, which is a Dragon Hunter crossbow. This will be my most expensive purchase yet, worth roughly 110 million coins. So I'm going to set my goal for this episode to be to obtain the Dragon Hunter crossbow. Now currently, I am kind of broke, only 1.7 mil in cash because I just spent all my cash on a bunch of bonds. So this episode is mainly going to be a collection of different money makers in order to get up to 110 mil for the Dragon Hunter crossbow. So first things first, I do have an idea of what I can do to get a juicy head start. So I got the Twisted Blueprints as a reward from Twisted League, but I'm not really sure how much I like it. I think the floor is way too dark. So I think I might just sell the blueprints since they're tradable on the Grand Exchange, because I don't really think that having this house theme is really worth as much to me right now as the price that the blueprints are going for on the Grand Exchange. So I'll just uh, change my theme to Fancy Stone. I like the Fancy Stone one. And there are my Twisted Blueprints. I'll go to the Grand Exchange. Let's see what these are going for. Instant sold. 23 mil! Holy cow, it's gone back up. Dang! 23 mil for my Twisted Blueprints. Nice! One of my most consistent money makers is doing herb runs. I have eight herb patches unlocked out of the nine that are available in the game, and I farm snapdragons in all of them. Usually, if none of my herbs die, I make anywhere between 150 to 300k profit per run. Another way I make money is through Slayer. Obviously, it's not very consistent because it depends on what tasks I get, but. Generally, you can make a decent amount of money here. I also like to do the gauntlet sometimes. It's not the greatest money maker, especially if you're doing the normal version like me, but it's pretty fun, and if you get lucky and get a blade of Saldor, then you can actually make a lot of money from it. So I did the gauntlet for about one hour straight, and here is the total loot. 540k just about it's not not too great of a money maker but the nice thing is that there are no supply costs whatsoever so it is 100% profit and I also got an elite clue which I will do shortly elite casket has been acquired 186k mediocre there is 96 strength and I am now 110 combat so this next money maker isn't really the most fun or exciting, but it's really easy to do, doesn't require much supplies, and is actually pretty decent GP per hour. And that is, you guessed it, crafting nature runes. There's 95 rune crafting. Very nice. So here's all the nature runes we crafted in one hour, 5,382. Throw that in the price checker, that is worth 1.3 mil just about. That is not too shabby of a money maker, especially for a skilling one. So let's go to the GE and sell it, see what it actually goes for. And there we go, 1.25 million coins. So now that I have 95 rune crafting, I can make wrath runes, which is supposed to be even better money than making nature runes. So I'm going to do this for about an hour and see how much I make. And that concludes one hour of crafting wrath runes. 
So let's get a final price check. So we made 3,402 wrath runes, which is worth 1.6 mil. So I got about 400k more in an hour than I did crafting nature runes. So my current slayer task is calphites. So I'm going to uh, kill calphite queen for a little while, see how much money I make. So here is all of the loot from one hour of Calphite Queen. I managed to get thir er, 14 kills done in the hour. Um, since I don't have the Desert Elite Diary done, I can't use the shortcut, so it's a lot slower for me than, than someone who is maxed and has everything. But anyway, here's the price check. 614k. Not the best money maker, so... Yeah, I'm probably gonna just cannon the rest of my calphite tasks since I have 150 more to go. That would take a really long time. One boss I used to kill a lot was the crazy archaeologist. Currently I have 208 kill count and the shards that he drops are each one in 256 and I have not received either of them yet. So ideally I would have received one at about 128 kill count. So I think I'm gonna camp until at least 256 kill count or if I haven't gotten any shards by then then until I get one of the shards because they're like about one mil each so I feel like I'm, I'm due for at least one of them pretty soon. Oh yes, I got one, I got, I got one of the shards, yes boys, finally. 265 kill count, I got one shard, 1.2 million coins. So raids can be a pretty good money maker, especially if you, you have a good team. Ooh, elite clue, nice. So I did four raids with a group, and this was the total loot that I got. 463k. So, not very good considering it took probably about a couple hours, but we did have a chance of getting purple. Unfortunately, we were not lucky though. So I got the elite casket from the clue that I got from Chambers of Zarek. Let's see what it is. 200k loot, magic seeds, pretty nice, and a master clue. Very nice, very nice. So here is the master casket that I got from the elite clue that I got from Chambers of Zarek. Danry thinks it's going to be 718k. He thinks it's going to be 473k and Rex thinks it's going to be 187k. I hope Rex is wrong. Oh, let's go! Yes, anguish ornament kit. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, that is good. That is nice. And here's the master casket. Last one I got was 8 mil, so this one will probably be like 70k or something. Oh, it's a mimic! Yes! This is my first time getting a mimic. Let's go! There we go, Mimic completed. Give me that plank. So I just, I think I just leave. All right, let's see what we get. Dang, that's a lot of blood runes. 500K, not too shabby. 
So, uh, our clan chat's having a Zami mass. Get on the... Okay, yeah, so... The kills are going pretty fast. But yeah, we're gonna be splitting uniques, and we got a Samurakian spear earlier, so... That might be like, you know, a one mil split. And there's the split from the spear, 1.2 mil. Very nice. Another boss that I know how to kill is Serachnus. So, I'm gonna do this for a little while. See how much I make. First trip, we got 252k and a hard clue scroll. Ooh, Dragon Boots Ornament Kit, nice. 200k hard clue, very nice. And from a second trip, we get 167k loot, 189k loot. All right, now let's get into some more serious money makers. Prophet Snack, also known as Zora, is one of the best money makers that I am able to do. Just finished a trip of Bandos with the boys. Unfortunately, we did not get any drops, but I just hit 50 mil in the cash stack, which is about halfway there. If you thought Profit Snake was good money, just wait until you hear about the Money Dragon. This scaly blue carcass can crank out even more coins per hour than Zora. That being said, it's a lot quicker to kill him with a Dragon Hunter crossbow than with a blowpipe, which is one of the reasons I want one. So I probably won't be doing too much Vorkath until after I've made my purchase. clean 100 Vorkath kill count. So a Zenite shard is nearly 15 mil and it is a 1 in 300 drop from Demonic Gorillas. Currently my Demonic Gorilla kill count is 292 and I currently have a Black Demon task so hopefully I get one within this Slayer task. I completed the Black Demon task and I have still not gotten the Zenite Shard, bringing the total number of Demonic Gorillas I have killed to 427 without receiving the Shard. Yes, boys! Magic Fang! Yes! And that was my first kill of the day, too. Just started. How much is that worth? 5.4 mil, nice. Unfortunately, my membership has run out, so that is gonna set me back a considerable amount. All right, so I got three bonds because you get 
more membership per bond if you get three of them instead of just one or two. And that set me back about 11 mil. So I am back at Demonic Gorillas off task this time because I am currently dry on the Zenite Shard drop. So I'm hoping that I can pick one up, pick one up real quick to make up for all the money that I spent on bonds. double the drop rate for getting a Zenite Shard, so very unlucky. And there is Zora kill count, 250. Duradel assigned me Dagonoths as a Slayer task, so I decided to head over to Dagonoth Kings since they are some pretty decent money, and currently I'm a little bit dry on both the Archer's Ring and the Seer's Ring, so... Hopefully I can get one of those. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. <gasps> yes boys, I just did a random gauntlet and got a crystal armor seed. Which is worth 3.4 mil and then the other drops makes it still 3.4 mil. Nice. Okay, you know how I said the crystal armor seed was 3.4 mil? It's actually 5.3 mil. Extra noise. Yes, boys, hilt! Yes, sir! 4888244. Very nice. Easy 4.8 4.8 mil in the bag. And there is 100 mil cash stack. That is the first time I've ever had this big of a cash stack. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Yes! Yes, finally! Oh my god, yes! I finally got it! No way, dude. I'm gonna finish this trip real quick. This is this will be the last kill. No way. And it only took 750 kills to get a 1 in 300 Zenite Shard, but... Now I can finally stop killing these freaking gorillas. Just over four months ago, I set this goal and started saving up for the Dragon Hunter crossbow. And now, I think I finally have enough money to be able to afford it. Yes. Finally, my biggest purchase yet. The Dragon Hunter crossbow has been acquired. Yes, sir. All right, let's go get a new personal best time at Vorkath.
There we go, new personal best, 126. At long last, I have finally managed to save up enough money to make my biggest purchase yet, the Dragon Hunter crossbow. This bad boy will make it a lot easier for me to make money down the line, which will be really important, especially since I have two days of membership left and about 500k cash. It is now time to move on to a new goal. I've been working on money making for a long time now, so I think I'm going to move on to a skilling grind now. Something that I've been working on very slowly for a very long time. My next goal will be to finally get 99 rune crafting. And that is going to be all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Please consider leaving a like if you did and subscribe so that you do not miss my future uploads. I am also working on starting a new series, so make sure you subscribe for that as well. I will see you in the next one.